Another account update at level 63, but I skipped one level, which is because I didn't get any progress, no noticeable progress, it's like just farming, but I didn't get the relics I wanted, so I skipped that level specifically. So what happened was that I farmed for Musketeer of Wildweed and the passerby of the Wandering Cloud for Natasha, and so these were the results. Ting Yun finally got above 154 speed, which is her optimal speed by the way. I already said that in my Ting Yun review. And all the speed came from the body. So very nice start, start distribution. I was, I was so lucky that the attack and speed just got upgraded. So that is a lot of speed from the defense and now it's fully upgraded and for now I also managed to get the speed boot upgraded maximum so now it's just the hands and the body to go hopefully I can get speed on my head and my hands so I can reach 160 above speed but I think 154 speed is really good enough for Ting Yun, so that's really it. So, March 7, what I did was to level her up all the way to 70 for now, get her ascended to 70, I mean, but the Light Cone isn't touched as before. Last time I just ascended it to 70, but now I just leveled it to 70. And this light cone is one of the best defensive light cones in the game, so it was worth it. So Natasha, I haven't touched her yet, but I got the traces here done, I unlocked these two traces. Particularly important for survivability. And as well, I upgraded her skill and the ultimate a little bit. So for her... Light cone is still the same. Relics wise, this is where most of my investment went into. Gave her speed boots, but the sub stats are not as good. I still wanted HP percentage, but I got hit. I got them um, attack percentage, which is pretty bad for Natasha, but can work wonders. I got defense and effect rest, which is nice, but I can't complain too much. Then I swapped out my HP body for an outgoing healing boost. I'm doing some experiments on that. So far, she's healing better at the cost of less health, but I think it works still fine because Natasha hardly ever gets below like 20% HP, I'd say, most of the time. Start stats aren't that great, but anyway, means that's more important. So. For the body piece already done, but I still want speed. Now I just put have hands here, and thing is, crit damage is a pretty big turn off. I still want speed, but no speed. But at least I got HP defense and effect rest, so pretty nice. And if I hit rate for my hit, which is pretty bad, I wanted speed, but anyway, HP and defense always welcome. If it's effect rest, always welcome also. That's pretty much it. And for farming the planner event, what I did was Bronya finally got her 5 star energy regen rope. Very nice with crit damage. Unfortunately, defense and HP is just a plain number. Would be better if it's a percentage. And Effect hit rate was a pretty bad start also. So now her effect rest dropped from 40 to 35, but I can't complain too much. And I still haven't gotten this trace yet. I need to get this trace. So she will be back to 40%. Going to 41%. Then, pretty much... I haven't tried to get the speed boot yet, but I need to try. But I haven't been successful so far, so yeah, that's pretty bad. 
Then I made her HP sphere all the way to 15 this time. But I still want a defense sphere. But I can't complain yet again because I got defense as a main start. Everything went into defense. So I can't really complain. But she's still weaker than Ting Yun in a way. Ting Yun has got more defense. But Bronya has got like more def more HP. But I, I really can't complain since I'm using both to my advantage anyway. But Natasha should be keeping up with her healing rate now, so things are pretty okay. So HP is not that bad actually. It's not that bad. If you have outgoing going healing boost in your body, it's not that bad. So I think I'll just keep the HP sphere and give up the defense sphere. As for much, I'm still not able to get the defense here, but I'm trying my best. Mm, so far, so far, I haven't touched the holy him yet because I was doing the musketeer of one wheat, and I'll do the potential runs and the potential relic display later. Then for Jingyan, untouched still, but for his traces, still untouched also. Pretty much it. And for traces, Clara now ultimates at max level. Because I need to maximize her kit and most of her damage coming from her ultimate anyway, so I need to get the ultimate level up. For Zilla, I just made the ultimate level 9. And pretty much it. Ting Yun's still the same. Much I just increase her skill a little bit. Because I feel that the she was falling off a little too fast in the MOC 10 where we had to fight Kafka and then the shield's like depleting too fast so I had to get the skill upgraded and I might do that in a moment so but I focus pretty much on Natasha this time round because healers are pretty much mandatory in the game then for Trailblazer nothing touched also and pretty much it. Silver Wolf, I, I haven't even continued building her. Knowing that she's just A tier, not S tier. And I found out Pela was a strong S tier in my opinion. But I still kept her at level 50. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. And for her relics, this is her current set currently. I have speed. I'm going to transfer the speed boots to, to Luo Cha. I'm going to get... An E0 S1 Locha for now, and I'm going to test him out in MOC 10. And if I find that his performance is good enough, then I don't need to go all the way to E6 S5. But if I find that Clara's of offensive potential is lacking, then I'll go for a Locha E2. Pretty much it. Then for my HP here, it's still the same. I haven't changed this one much, but I will replace this with another one later. I will touch my Musketeer of we collection later, so keep in mind. Then I put a defense body on Bela, as well as um, just a gold attack for now. I mean, she doesn't really need the hands, so I just kept it. As is for now. Then for the defense rope, I just upgraded it a little bit because she was too frail for the Clara team in MOC 10. So I did upgrade to 6 for now. So I'm fine. Defense here also, I need to find a defense fleet of the Asia sphere, but I am not lucky enough. Never lucky. So yeah, pretty much. Now I'll touch about I'll touch my Wawi collection a little bit. Okay, so this is my current inventory. I'm saving my jades for Luocha. I know it's not enough, but I said already that I'll be spending on this game a little bit more just to get Luocha and his signature light cone. So 
but haven't spent a single jade on any fuel and stamina refresh so that is why I have quite a lot here and then I saved after pulling for silver wolf that single silver wolf so that's why I, I just saved and for my credits just like this for now my character XP materials like this but I know it's not enough for um, fully upgraded Locha but I will be farming the Calyx first so not to worry and Calyx event is coming soon so we will get double drops so good for me I'll be farming those ones then for my light code XP I'm having way too much XP but it will change upon getting Locha signature light code so we'll see about that yeah pretty much it then I also tried farming for his character ascension materials a little bit because I was in the mood to do so so why not and I needed to finish some of my daily missions so I farmed this three times the stagnant shadow three times and for my light cones here it is currently I mean not a big collection but you get the point every super imposition level still the same and once Lorcha's signature light cone banner comes up we will have a dance 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 at super imposition 5 and Ting Yun will be quadrupling the speed even more the whole team will get quadruple speed probably even 4.5 times speed you never know I'll, I'll need to do a little bit more testing and then we have the relic farm so most of the farm went into the musketeer of wild wheat and I will explain a little bit here so these are my current collections I've locked some of these hats because I feel that they are pretty good for Locha so I think this is a pretty good set and hopefully for this one I'll get speed then for my hands I'm pretty much gonna use this for Luocha currently since he's got attack but crit damage is not needed I'll need to find new one um, I might be able to use this for Luocha also since it's got every positive stuff start that's why I've been saving those ones and pretty much it then for these are pretty much junk but just keep them just in case anything good comes out from them and then I'm trying to, to def I'm trying to experiment defense attack and uh, crit rate for Lorcha's body piece so I kept all four of these I don't know which one's good but I'll level them all equally and then I will test them out to see whether Lorcha really needs more attack or really he, he can do crit for DPS or he needs defense in case he's too squishy so I've been keeping those ones for experimentation and I'm keeping more of these for in case any good sub starts any good sub starts come out so that's why and speed is very invaluable so I just keep those ones with speed in the kit so these are my musketeer of wild wheat collection the passerby wandering cloud I just farm for Natasha and I don't have anything else in the collection other than the 4 because I felt that they were not good enough yeah so that's pretty much it and level 62 I felt that I did a lot of musketeer of what we farming but not many good results but we'll see We'll see about that in the future. I'm still two more levels to the final equilibrium level and pretty much hopefully I can get more relics in the long run. So Locha's set is pretty much complete now with the planar spheres, the four piece. As for Locha's set, I'll, I'll be giving him attack sphere. I've got quite a lot of attack spheres here but I'm saving HP just in case I'm saving imaginary damage boost just in case again 
but more importantly, I think the attack spheres are going to be in handy, so I kept those ones here as well as here. I just kept them. And we got an energy regenerate for our space healing station, so I'm going to be using this on Locha ultimately because I think Locha is going to be debuffing enemies a lot, so I feel that he will benefit from energy regenerate, but oh well, let's see. Since I've also attack, 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 and another attack. That's why I'm saving quite a lot for Locha here. But in case Space Healing Station is not the way to go, that's that's totally fine. I still have my League of the Ageless here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll be doing a lot of experimentations for Locha and I will be getting him today. I'll be pulling a video guide. I'll be making a video um pull speed or something. Yeah, so I'll be uploading my pulls and making a guide for him as soon as he comes out. But I will do the relic testing first before making the guide, that's for sure. So yeah, I'm very very excited for Lochai at the current moment. And we have only how many hours to go? We have 6 hours 29 minutes in the Asia server. Hong Kong server, so to say. So, yeah, I'll catch you back on the Lochai pool session. Cheers.